And do you really need to be eating a candy bar right now? I mean, well, yeah, I, I do. You see, I have this condition. You're still pushing up against me. Ah! I can't take this! Is everything okay over here? No, everything is not okay. I shouldn't have to sit in this seat. Next time, Darman's just about to get on stage. Great. Um, are there any seats left? Uh, yes, there's one last seat towards the front. Ah, and here's an outline of the program. Today's topic is compassion for strangers. Oh, no need. I'm just here because I heard that he gives away money at the beginning of all his talks. Is it true that the last time he gave away $10,000? Yes, it's true. Wow. I could buy so many Louis Vuitton bags with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab my seat. Is that seat open? Yep, it's open. Have a seat. I'm Chelsea, by the way. I can't get by. Oh, sorry. These seats are so small. It's not that the seats are small, they're just too big. Do you mind moving so that I can get in? I'm sorry. Tarman's one of my favorite motivational speakers. I've got all his books. How long have you been following him for? I don't know who he is. I just know that he gives away cash. I'm here for the money. Oh, uh... Well, you are gonna love the talk. Look, can you just scoot over? You're all in my space. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm sorry. Is that as far as you can go? You're still touching me. I'm, I'm really sorry, but this is as far as I can go. All right, everyone. We are just about to get started. Darman will be coming on stage momentarily. Yes, I am so excited. <laughs> I've been wanting to see him in person for so long. You know, I think you're really gonna love this guy. Can you not talk with food in your mouth? That's disgusting. I'm so sorry. And do you really need to be eating a candy bar right now? I mean, well, yeah, I, I do. You see, I have this condition. You're still pushing up against me. Ah, I can't take this. Is everything okay over here? No, everything is not okay. I shouldn't have to sit in this seat next to her. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am, but it looks like all of the seats are full. This is ridiculous. Here. You can take my seat. I don't mind sitting there. Oh, thank goodness. Excuse me. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. I'm Jake. Hey, Jake. I'm Chelsea. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry there's not much room for you. Oh, there's plenty of space. Don't worry about that. Compassion for strangers. That's why we're here, right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your speaker, Darman! Hey guys, thank you all so much for being here today. As you guys know, I usually like to start off my talks by giving back to my Darman fam. So, who's ready to win a big prize? <laughs> and today, you're in for a real treat because I decided to do my biggest cash giveaway ever, $100,000. $100,000? Wow, he's always so generous. I hope it goes to someone who deserves it. Me too. Good luck. So under every single seat here, there is an envelope, but only one of those envelopes contains a check for $100,000. Please check under your seats now. I won. I won. I can't believe it. I won. Congratulations. Wait, wait. 
That's not fair. That was my seat. I should have won. Well, actually, you said you shouldn't have to sit in that seat. So you gave your seat to him. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Young lady, I'm about to give you something even more valuable than money. Can you give me just a moment of your time? Thank you. Chelsea, can you please come up here? Thank you. So you guys, Chelsea is actually a friend of mine. And I asked her to come here today to talk about compassion for strangers. But I'll let her tell you her story. Hi everyone, I'm Chelsea. Dar asked me to come here today to be a part of this talk. You see, no matter how hard I try, I can't lose weight. <laughs> I've been this size for as long as I can remember. Every day, people judge me. Some people even make mean comments. But the one thing that hurts me the most is when no one wants to sit next to me. Today, as I sat in my seat, I fought back tears as I watched each and every one of the seats get taken, except for the one next to me. So you see, Dar purposely put the money under the seat next to mine to raise awareness, because we knew the only person that would sit in that seat is someone who had compassion for strangers.